Hello, uh, before start, I'd like to show you this stock that I posted in my video after this trading day, uh, September the 22nd. Let's take a look what happened since then. So until yesterday market close, it has gone up uh, about 30%. So this is a really very good pick. From this chart, uh, it hasn't done yet. I think it is on its way to test the previous high that is uh, a little bit more than $23. Okay, so uh, in my videos, I post stocks like this. So uh, today I'm gonna introduce this stock to you guys. Okay, so let's uh, look into it. So uh, this company uh, provides health insurance products and services in the United States. I think uh, the company offers quite uh, some uh, plans suitable for different uh, groups of people. So. Uh, it depends on its uh, highly sophisticated, easy, user-friendly uh, website. That is a part of the fintech type of operation. So the company was founded in uh, 2012, uh, almost nine years. So it is really very young. Uh, yes, for a good company, you need to uh, put some effort, some time to develop some uh, good things. The income uh, quarter over quarter, it, it is significant. The balance sheet, because it is an IPO company, uh, there are only two quarters number available. So uh, the cash flow for this type of growing company, uh, well, they, uh, they are losing money. It's not a big deal because they have to reinvest their uh, income to build uh, broaden their customer base after i build the company's market cap is huge okay so it has now uh, like more than 1800 employees it's a big company so here there are a lot of news because it is a, a growing company so most of the news uh, are positive and also some recommendations uh, to buy it and some uh, even suggested uh, it, it is a strong buy. So here, uh, this is insider, okay? Insiders, uh, the executives, the owners, they are buying at market price. So uh, usually this type of information is really uh, indicative because those guys, they understand their business. Uh, they have got like a close to 10 years uh, experience. They know where the company is um, heading. And then uh, to put it simply like this, uh, they believe that uh, there are stock price will be increasing in a year, in two years, in three years, five years, ten years. So here it is also impressive for such a uh, company, uh, financial institutions own like close to 70% of its shares. Okay, it is a an IPO stock, institutions, investment banks, they bought the, the shares, but they don't sell. You see, Morgan Stanley increased, uh, quite recently increased their uh, holding. Uh, many, many, this one, okay? Increased this, uh, this much. So uh, Royal Bank of Canada, that is uh, one of the five uh, giant banks in Canada. They have their um, analysts, right? They evaluate the company, the business, uh, by putting in some models, okay? So they believe uh, this stock, this company will generate return on their investment. Here is the uh, analyst rating, 
now it is only uh, above the fifteen dollars. So uh, the price target is uh, thirty dollars. That is, uh, it will double since um, IPO. Uh, the ratings are buy, buy, and buy. Finally, let's uh, come back to its chart. Since uh, IPO, uh, it has been beaten down quite a lot. And then here there is a earnings report. It is positive. Okay, then eventually it rebounded uh, very powerful. Look at the volume. Okay, the volume is increasing. So uh, before this rebound, okay, there was another attempt. Then it failed. So look at the volume, very low, but here the volume has been uh, increasing. So now after this rebound, uh, it entered a uh, sideways consolidation mode, which is very uh, common. Then it went down a little bit. So this is called a bear trap. Okay, if you sold it and you are shaken out of it, okay, so the actually this is buy opportunity. Okay, so the chart pattern is very great. Uh, you check a lot of uh, stocks show this type of pattern. So I think from uh, now it will uh, increase. Uh, I don't know by how much, but it uh, could be uh, like this. Okay. The buying uh, price uh, range should be like in this window. Uh, in stock market, there's nothing 100% sure. In case anything happens, the way to treat it is like this. If it goes this way, right? The way to treat it is to uh, sell it. Uh, you should never watch your stock declining okay whenever it turns its, its head you should uh, sell it to cut loss because you don't know how deep uh, the pullback will be it depends on a lot of factors okay uh, eventually it will reach a turning point so then you don't buy anything else you keep your money to wait for the next dip and buy it back okay so at that point you still need to follow uh, buying signals so here you sold it you have the money okay then you use the same amount of money to buy it back at a lower uh, price so in this way you will own more shares when it bounces back so uh, the percentage increase will be very significant. So this is the way how to trade stocks. So you will never lose. Even you uh, got in at a wrong time. It doesn't matter. You just cut loss. Uh, uh, but I don't think uh, the probability for this stock to further go down is uh, quite rare. That's it for today. Uh, good luck with your trading. Bye until next time.